What's happening guys? What is going on? It is the Beast Bailey and welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, this one's going to be going over my autographed uh, Georgia card collection. Uh, I have uh, pretty much acquired a decent little collection here. Um, I'm not sure quite how many different autographs I got, but we got a lot of cards here and uh, I still got a good bit more coming as well. So. I'm going to kind of give you guys a little rundown of the collection I got. Um, I'm going to start with the, uh, I got five high school players, or high school cards of Georgia players. So I'm going to start with this one. Got this one today. This is a 2016 Leaf Trading card. This is a two of five. This is a Marshall Long uh, punter card. It's got the American flag. Uh, not really exactly sure exactly what the card is called itself. I'm, Still kind of learn that myself, but this is a leaf trading card, two of five. Uh, I really like that American flag in the back. It's really reflective and pretty neat. He was a pretty decent punter uh, back in the latter years of Mark Rick's tenure. Next, we got Xavier Truss, all American card, leaf trading card, uh, 2019, 15 to 25. Um, Xavier Truss, um, I don't think he was a starter this year. He's an offensive lineman. I believe he would probably will be a starter next year. So, a uh, pretty decent car. I went ahead and picked it up because I knew he's probably going to be a starter in the next couple of years. Went ahead and picked up this car. This is actually, uh, wow, I didn't even know this was uh, numbered, but this is a Tate uh, Ratledge car, and this is actually one of seven. I didn't even notice that one. Um, I, I knew this was a, a numbered car, but I didn't realize it was a one of seven. This is a 2020 uh, Leaf trading card. Tate Radlish did start this year. He's a redshirt sophomore, a uh, redshirt freshman, I believe. He did start, uh, I think he tore his ACL or MCL uh, in week two or three of the season. Uh, he went out season into injury, so he will be back next year as a starter. So I went ahead and picked up his card. Next, these are my two favorite cards. Uh, first, I got Jamari Salyer. Uh, Jamari Salyer, offensive lineman. One of the best offensive linemen in college football this past season. Uh, he is going to the draft. Uh, he will be drafted more than likely, I would say, late first, early second round in that area. Uh, he has all the, all the potential in the world to be a really great NFL lineman. Um, and I went ahead and picked up this card because I knew that uh, – He's going to be getting drafted, so really excited about this card. Nolan Smith, All-American, uh, returning for his senior year. Uh, well, Nolan Smith uh, could arguably be the best player in our defense next year, so I'm excited about that. He will be a first-round pick in next year's draft if he plays to the potential. All right, next, uh, this card, this is the only card I have that's like this. It's not in a, a uniform, but it's Roquan Smith. Uh, big fan of Roquan. This card is numbered, I believe, 250. So it's 115 to 250. Roquan Smith is, uh, it's like a little training card or something, but, uh, it's pretty neat. It's a Sage card. Uh, it's got a stats on there from 2000 and, uh, I believe 2017. Yeah, the year that Georgia won the Rose Bowl. Pretty decent card. A big Roquan fan. I was happy to get his autograph. Next, we got Tay Crowder. Uh, Tay Crowder was he's a awesome linebacker that played for Georgia. I believe he's with the Jets now. I believe he's either with the Jets or the Rams. It's one or the other. Uh, we got J.R. Reed. Uh, awesome card. This is a 2020 card. He's a he's a rookie in the NFL right now. We got, this is a 2019 card. This is Jonathan Ledbetter. I believe he's with the Dolphins, I think. I don't watch the NFL, so don't hold me to it if I'm wrong on who these players are. But I believe he's with the Dolphins. Jonathan Ledbetter was an awesome linebacker. Tied in Charlie Warner. He's with the San Francisco 49ers. Um, pretty decent tight end. I mean, he only had one career touchdown in Georgia. But, hey. That's 
stats some, sometimes get you where you need to be. You got Aaron Murray, pretty sweet card. Uh, just I think this is just a rookie's card from 2014. Uh, Aaron Murray still to this day holds all the passing records of Georgia, I believe. Got Trent Thompson, pretty sweet defensive lineman back in uh, the 2000 and like I think it was like 16, 15, 17. Uh, 49 of 60 number card valiant card i like this green i like this green valiant uh i'm not big on the color green but i like this card got a prism card here we got brian herring very uh popular running back to play for georgia this card is numbered as well 120 of 149. got this one today Michael Bennett, wide receiver. Uh, a little inscription as well saying, Go Dogs. Can I get a Go Dogs in the chat? My boy Michael Bennett. Uh, very exciting wide, uh, very exciting wide receiver. Um, Lad McConkey reminds me of this guy. I mean, Lad McConkey, we haven't, Georgia hasn't had a, a receiver like Michael Bennett since, or we haven't had a receiver like him. So it's been a while. So we got Lad. I'm not too big on this card. Uh, this one came in today as well. It's Elijah Holyfield. This is one of the clear cards. It's a see-through card. Um, it is Elijah Holyfield. Um, the purple. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, yeah, you can't. It's really hard to see it in person, what, what it says. All you can see is the word clear in his autograph. You can't really make out what any of that stuff says. But uh, Elijah Holyfield, not the, not the greatest autograph card. I should have got a different one, but... I got this car pretty cheap, but whole field was a pretty exciting running back to watch. Uh, we got Keith Marshall, another running back. This is the, uh, he came in with Todd Gurley. Uh, pretty, pretty. He had a pretty uh, injury-ridden career. Unfortunately, I hated it for him. Um, him and Todd Gurley really started the duo, the running back duo scheme that Georgia's running. Next, we got Trey Hill. Trey Hill will be playing in the Super Bowl coming up. He does play for the Bengals. I'm not sure if he's a starter or not. I'm not sure. I really like these Onyx cards. These are like the like – they make them like the vintage cards, this Onyx brand. And back here it tells you the uh, the color of the ink. So we got the green ink. So this one is numbered from 0 to 50. So uh, I'm not sure what the – I don't think it tells you what the number is on this card, but it's numbered. So – if you get the red, it's 0 to 25, black, 0 to 5, and then blue is 0 to 400. So, pretty neat. I really like this card. I like the green ink. Most of these cards are blue, so it's kind of neat to get a different color. Next, we got Rameek Wilson, awesome linebacker that played in Mark Rick's final years. Was a really awesome player. That card is numbered as well. I believe it's 70 to 99. Uh, next, we got Malik Herring. I believe this is a 2020 card. Uh, no, 2021 card, mind you. Uh, Malik Herring, awesome linebacker. Another 2021 20, card. This is Monty Rice. I believe Monty Rice. I think he was a safety. Uh, don't don't. He's a safety or DB. I think he might have been a linebacker. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, Monty Rice. He just he really played really well. These are the rookies in the NFL. We got another 2021 card. This is Mark Webb. Now, I think Mark Webb was a DB. Um, he played great as well, too. I don't remember much of this guy. This is DJ Daniel. I believe this is a 2021 as well. Yeah. Um, DJ Daniel, I think he kind of waited his turn. I think he only played one year. Uh, but... Uh, I don't remember much about DJ Daniel, honestly. I, I just, but I went ahead and picked it up. Got another 2021 card. This is Trey McKitty tied in. He transferred from Miami to Georgia. I believe McKitty's with the Panthers. Um, really didn't have a big year. Hit like one touchdown. But he's with a squad. So we got a 2019 card. This is DeAndre Walker. Pretty sweet card. And 
then we got a 2013 card. This is Alec Ogletree, who I believe is with the Rams. No, he's not with the Rams anymore. I'm not sure. He might be with the Giants. Might be with the Giants. Uh, I'll go ahead and show these two. Uh, this one came in today. Number 1799. This is a Todd Gurley 2019 immaculate uh, card. Uh, so, yeah. So it's kind of like a... What's it called? It's like a... Dang. I can't think of what it's called, but it's a 2019 card, so... Pretty neat. Got this card pretty cheap. Uh, so, pretty sweet card. This is one of my favorite pieces I got. This is Terry Goblin. Another immaculate card. This one is 21 to 25. It's got a signature Terry Goblin and it's got the patch as well. So, really, I like, really like that piece. All right. These next two are two of my favorites that I got. Got both these today as well. This one is 17 of 18. This is an Eric Stokes wild card matte uh, purple. Uh, Eric Stokes is a DB for the Green Bay Packers who has had an absolutely amazing season with Green Bay. Um, he's he's probably the best Georgia, the best young Georgia player in the NFL. Definitely the best rookie. I think Aziz Ojolari might have had a, a similar successful season, but as a DB, Eric Stokes has been phenomenal. Um, this one's signed in Sharpie, but I've been trying to get an Eric Stokes card, man. I've been I've been trying, and I got this one at a pretty good deal. Got this one today as well. This is the most expensive card I bought. This is AJ Green, uh, just a a sweet card, a beautiful looking card. That's a great, that's a good good picture, and no, I like it so. AJ Green. I, I hate that he's not with the Bengals to be in the Super Bowl. I hate that for him, but that's pretty much going to sum it up. Uh, I got some more coming in the mail. I got some good stuff coming too. So uh, we got, let's see, I probably got maybe 20 more cards coming. So got, got some good stuff. So stay tuned. If any of these cards you guys like, leave a comment down below what you think. Peace.